Hi everybody, it's Therese. <clears throat> I'm back with another video and today is Monday. I am participating in um, the Gingerbread Christmas 2020 collaboration with um, Poet Spice here on YouTube. Um, I'll have everybody's links down below. Um, <clears throat> um, we're going to be creating Christmas um, projects every Monday um, in September around no at 10 o'clock a.m. Um, so come and join us. You can participate by <clears throat> link or putting the hashtag I think it's gingerbread Christmas 2020 um, on your video and where everybody can see I will also have a link um, or a playlist um, of all my videos um, for everybody to check out. I will be having a giveaway at the end of this month. So, um, <clears throat> and all I'm asking is to, for everybody to comment. That's it. Um, I'm not going to check if you've subscribed. <laughs> but being a subscriber really is nice. So um, anyway, so this month or uh, this Monday, I am making Christmas tags and um, I have, I'm in a um, Christmas gift exchange, I guess, um, for the whole month of December that um, we, a bunch of ladies and I, decided to do a Christmas, I don't know what you call it, um, open a gift a day or something. I forget what they call that. There is there is something, and, and I know you guys are screaming <laughs> what it is. Put it down below so I remember. I just can't think of it right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I am making Christmas tags, as I said. Um, did I change the paper? <laughs> I, I'm using this paper pad. I'm using some book pages. Um, I use this stamp. I think this is from a Target set. I used um, this ink pad, which made my hands all red. I used um, this stamp from Stampin' Up. It's an oldie but goodie. I um, I love that. Um, and I think that's about it. And I use some tags from my stash. They're all different sizes and colors. So let me show you my tags. So I did like a collage look to all of them um, because I I don't, I'm going to have, um, I don't know what I'm doing with the numbers um, from 1 to 25. And um, I really like how these tags turned out. I left some of the tags so you can see what the tags look like. Um, so these are about like two and a half by four size tags. They're pretty big. <clears throat> And I just trimmed up the paper to sort of fit the tag. These kind of look the same, but not. <laughs> okay, so that's one set of tags. Then these are a little smaller. I think these are um, one and a half by four. And I just did a collage of papers to them. I really love how these turned out. They're it's all they're all different but the same, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I love how there is just a pop of gold. Love that. Okay. Um my second third set of tags is a white is on a white tag and I have the um to and from on the back. I didn't put any um twine on these which I will. Um, so I just 
sat here and collaged. They were fun and easy um, to do. And I did some stamping. That's it. Very easy. And I'm going to, um, as I said, I was, I'm going to put the numbers on later. So when I start wrapping the gifts, I'll know what size tags to use. And these are really teeny tiny tags. And I left the bottom tag, um, the, uh, it's like a doily, but it more looks like, like a paw print to me. <laughs> but it's really, really super cute. And I really like that. And it, you use a lot of scraps and everything. Oops, sorry. There's that one. And these are so easy to make. And if you need to make like tons of tags for Christmas, these are very easy and simple. And you use up all your scraps. I still have a ton of scraps left, left over. I have tons of paper to use. So I could make a whole bunch of tags. So this is my project for this week. Um, come back and join us um, for another Christmas Gingerbread Christmas 2020 collaboration. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great week and I'll see you next Monday. Bye guys.